welcome to another short video in the basic skills on the iPad for Affinity Designer series. In this one we're looking at drawing a curved arrow. Very simple. Curved arrows are often used for purposes of labelling and illustration. In this tutorial we'll learn how to create a curved arrow in Affinity Designer. So, launch Affinity Designer. If you wish to work on a transparent background, check the transparent background checkbox in the colour section of the dialog box which pops up. Well, it's the options section actually, but we want a transparent background, if you want one. Select the pen tool. It has four different modes. Pick the line mode. Click at a point on the document where you want the line to start. Then, while holding the start point in place and holding two fingers on the document at the same time, drag the line to where you want it to end. Displaying the grid can help with placement. If you find that too awkward, draw your line as near as you want it, then set its angle and length in the Transform tool. Release the pen at the point where you intend the line to end. All the while notice the stroke tool which is currently at a value of one pixel. This is where you set the thickness, type, colour and other properties of the line. But here we get our first horizontal line. Click on the stroke tool. You'll find the start and end controls from where you can select the styles for the arrowhead to be at the start or end of your line stroke. So you've clicked on, and you can see the blue vertical bar on the right there next to four pixels. We've got a four pixel line. Now you want the start and end controls. and They're visible by the two horizontal lines that you can see when you first open it. For positioning of the arrowhead you can choose either place arrow within the line or place arrow at the end of the line. To make the arrowhead look more pronounced we increase the width of the stroke to 6 point. Next click on the start or end control depending on where you require the arrowhead to appear and a drop down list of arrowhead styles pops up. Choose the arrowhead you fancy. To make the line curved, first tap the Node tool. Tap the line somewhere in the middle of the line and slowly drag it down or up as you wish the curve to bend. And we get our curved arrow. I've dragged it up slightly. Now because you have a transparent background, you can place your arrow on other images. And you can see there, if I was talking about the width of that table, then the arrow is pointed out. And that's it, all finished. Simple as that. Thanks for watching.